the data set here shows four independent pH measurements made from each of two rivers A and B. And this gives us two independent data samples. And we reuse this data to illustrate the use of Minitab for testing for differences in variance, mean and median values. So to start with the test for the difference in variances, we go to Stat, Basic Statistics, Two Variances. We first have to identify the way in which the data is presented and the default is that the samples are all in one column which agrees with our data set but it is possible that we may have had the data presented with the samples in different columns or actually with the summarized data as the sample variances but taking the default samples in one column option the samples are in C1 the pH values and the subscripts is the identification of the two rivers which is in column C2 and then under options we can confirm the null hypothesis is that we are testing whether the hypothesized ratio between the two variances or between the two standard deviations is one i.e. that they both have the same standard deviation and we can identify the alternative hypotheses so for a two-tailed test the alternative is that the ratio is not one or for one-tailed test we can select either that the ratio of one to two is less than one or greater than one but we will stick with the two-tailed test and run the analysis the results will appear in the session window in which we see it has performed two tests it has performed the F test which assumes the normal distribution in the data and records a p-value of 0 0.718 it has also performed Levine's test which is appropriate for any continuous distribution not necessarily a normal distribution and this gave a p-value of 0 0.618 both of these p-values are greater than 0 0.05 which suggests that there is no evidence that there is any significant difference in the variances of the distributions from which these two samples were drawn. We can now choose to test for a difference in the mean values of the populations from which these two data samples were drawn and for that we will have a two sample t-test so stats basic statistics two sample t-test again the options depend on how the data is presented either summarized data with values for sample size mean and standard deviation samples in different columns or as in our case the ph data samples are all in one column which is in column one and the subscripts is the identification of the river which is in column C2 we could choose here to assume equal variances between the populations from which these two data samples were drawn and having already performed the test for equal variances and found no significant differences we will assume that the variances are indeed equal under options we could choose for a, a difference between the two mean values which is not zero but in this case we will be testing for zero differences and we could choose to have either the two-tailed or one-tailed test either less than or greater than but we will stick with not equal the two-tailed test and then we will simply run the analysis and the results appear in the session window the test is testing for a difference of either zero, which is the null hypothesis, or not zero. It gives the calculated t value. Because it has assumed equal variances, it has calculated a pooled standard deviation, which is the best estimate of the standard deviation of the populations from which the data was drawn. 
and then from the t-test it calculates the p-value of 0 0.052 which because it is just greater than the significance level of 0 0.05 suggests that we sh should not reject the null hypothesis. We do not have quite enough evidence to say that there is a significant difference in the mean values of these two samples. We can now test for a difference in median values by using the Mann-Whitney test through stats, non-parametric tests, Mann-Whitney, but immediately we see that the analysis expects to see the two data samples in different columns. So we will cancel this and we'll have to copy the data from one river into column C3, the data from the other river into column C4, and we can label these A and B, and then return to stats, non-parametrics, Mann-Whitney test. The first sample is now in A, the second sample is in B, and we will again choose to do a two-tailed test to test whether the two medium values are either equal or not equal and we run the analysis and again it is confirming that we're testing whether the mean values are equal as opposed to not equal and this records a p-value for this Mann-Whitney test of 0.0606 which again, being greater than the critical value of 0 0.05, suggests that we should not reject the null hypothesis. There is not enough evidence to say that there is a significant difference in the median values of these two data sets.